Hi there, I'm Frances and welcome to Love Teaching at Home. Um, this is my first proper learn along with and I'm just going to introduce uh, the topic I'm learning which is the Raspberry Pi. Now, um, I'm borderline millennial which means I'm supposed to know a little bit about computers. I don't know a great deal and I wasn't uh, much of a computer geek growing up. Um, my husband is really into computers so I kind of feel a little bit jealous sometimes of all the stuff he can do. Uh, and so I found out about this thing called a Raspberry Pi and I bought one. They're supposed to be. The way they're marketed uh, through like, word of mouth, what uh, I've been told about them was that it's a really small uh, computer and it's uh, very affordable and you can do loads of programming with it. So I thought, great, excellent looks online. You can buy them uh, for £35. I got a, well, the, the new one is £35. They do really small ones. You can get a really tiny little one for like about £10. But I think that's probably a few people who know what they're doing. I'm not sure. But £35 for a computer. Um, and the set I bought was less than £50 and it came with a few bits and pieces. And not many bits and pieces, but a few. So, uh, this is the Raspberry Pi 3. Um, that's it. When I first got it, I went onto my Facebook group and I was like, oh my god, I'm really intimidated. God, it, it's... My first intimidation was that I was going to break it. Um, I did electronics GCSE at school, which is a little bit rare actually. Uh, I don't think it really exists these days. Uh, in the same state. Anyway, my last real experience of handling something that looked like this was when I fried it by accident in the circuit board frying machine, which is a real thing. When they're making it, they dip it into a fryer, but if you leave it in too long, it just turns into like a chip. So, um, that was my last, <laughs> so my last experience of these is like breaking them. So, feeling a little bit nervous. So you can see it says Raspberry Pi, just there. Uh, a few things I can recognise so far. So, you've got Everyone likes these USB things that you plug in. This is, I think, Ethernet internet, so you can plug it in if you don't do wireless. Although this one is wireless. This one's got a wireless thing going on in it, so that's exciting. Um, then the set I bought, so this is what you get if you just pay £35, you just get this. Then the set I bought also gives you this teeny tiny Raspberry Pi Micro SD. And um, what this does, so this is a computer and currently it has lots of programming ability. It's got apparently a little Wi-Fi then thing I'm saying. Uh, I know it does Wi-Fi, it does, you can plug lots of things in it, Bluetooth. There's the HDMI so you can plug it into your TV or wherever you want to plug it. Oh, excuse me. Um, lots of different little bits and pieces that I've not even started to fully understand yet. And this little bit here is where the chip goes. However, this is the software. So... Already learning stuff about computers, this is the hardware, this is the software. Ooh. So, this doesn't really do much without this. I'm sure it does something, but I don't know what, and I wouldn't know how to access it. So, by what I did was I bought this ready, uploaded, full of noobs and raspian. What those are, I'm not entirely sure, but you need them to make this work uh, easily. And um, what you get when you load up the Raspbian and the Noobs, and I'll find out more about that when I get the screen out. <laughs> I'll see if I can find out what they are. Um, they're how, how you talk to it and how it works. Then you plug it in. You see it goes that way up, so it's touching the... You see it goes that way in. There we go, and it goes in. I hope I got it right around, otherwise I'll have to turn it around. Now, so that's not the only thing I got. I also got, very importantly, the power cable. So, first of all, if you just buy this for £35, you don't get a power cable. Now, the good news is, it's just the same as a tiny little power cable. Do, 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 do. There we are. So, most mobile phones, I think, um, oh no, they're smaller even, aren't they? I don't know. Um, my Kindle does these, and a lot of other tablets. Not the Apple ones, but a lot of other tablets will charge on these. So, if you have a normal charger, probably that'll be okay. Uh, but of course they say in the, so if you don't want to buy the set, like if money's really tight, um, but they say that if you don't use the right adapters obviously and it all burns out then that's your fault. So there we go, it's probably worth getting the right one. I also got this handy little thing which is just a plastic box. Um, I think they retail at around sort of four or five pounds, you can buy them. You've got to make sure you've got the right one. So this is a Raspberry Pi 3 which means it's got lots of extra holes in it because it's got lots of extra holes in it. Um, so you can buy them to make it online, you can cut them and paste, uh, there's a really good download from Punnet, I think, I have a really good download, but I think that's only for Raspberry Pi 1s and 2s, because it doesn't have enough holes, I think, uh, this thing, I think it's the USB end, isn't quite right, so if you just want to download and print it out on a really thick card, and then use a craft knife to cut out the holes, and then just fold it up and colour it in, and colour it in and fold it up, but you get the idea. 
but what this means is I am not terrified that I'm going to break this. So that's really good. So that's what you get in the set. Now I've got a few other things to get me started, but you can do, um, there's going to be a video up about one of the projects you can do just with this starter set. So that's pretty cool. I've got a few other things to get me started. I haven't used them yet. So, cause like I said, this is about learning. So first of all, I've learned what computers look like and, uh, how, how cool those are. I'm going to learn what I can do with it later. First, I'm going to buy all this stuff. So I've also bought, now this is hooked up, someone's going to write me and say, of course your lights aren't working. I'm in the middle of, so I've just done a couple of projects, which I'm putting the films up together for now. And I'm just in the middle of trying to make these lights flash alternatingly. So I've got this called a breadboard. This one, I'll go through them more as we do them step by step. But this white thing is called a breadboard. I actually have two of those, big one and little one. And these, all these little bits and pieces, plug in and out. So if you can just see the wires just come in. Oh, I don't even know where that came from now. Okay, got them together. Uh, so the wires just come in and out, so it's really easy. Now the point of this is that in the end, if you wanted to make something like proper and formal and that you made and kept forever, and you had a soldering kit and a whole shed full of bits, you'd make something that looks like this. But actually, these are essentially the same thing, just a little bit different. So when you plug things into here, you're making them join up like they're on here. So this is like a pretendy circuit board, it's called a breadboard. And um, I'll explain more as I use them, how it works. But these all, these little sets here are all matched up and they uh, power into here. This red thing on it comes off. Ooh, so you can see the whole thing, hang on. Right, okay, there, that's, that's what it looks like, it's just holes. Can I put it back on, Will my program ever work again? So what this red thing does, is it talks, what's that, that was going in a number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, that's going in number 11. Right, so what this red thing does is it talks to the, uh, to the computer, it talks to the Raspberry Pi via, this is called a ribbon cable, uh, you might have seen them before, and what it is, is it's 40, count them, 40, we have to count them, 40, um, little ribbons and they're all stuck together so you don't have to get big mangle of wires and then you get holes these are called females because they've got holes in them rude whereas the pins are called males um, learned all of that in the past 24 hours and being really smart and then you've joined this oh 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 with your glasses on yes okay and you click plug those in like that and that's how you get your circuit board to talk to your and what you use here really matters. So when, you, when we're looking at programming, we'll look into more about this. Um, it's got like a header or something. Um, this is a 40 pin header and this is it. And it joins from here to here. And then what this does is it takes each of these wires and it attaches them to a specific row. So anything that I do, can you see where this orange pin is into this row and this white one is in this row? And this blue one is here. These are all attached to this part of the circuit. Okay, so that's that. I've got a few other things. Now, I've got from Kuman, who's seen one of the big providers, just, it's quite a basic uh, starter kit, a male to female, so males and pokey, females, balls, rude, again, um, male to female set of cable ties, cable, ribbon cables. So what that means is it's easy. What This is not to talk specifically to this. This is just to connect little bits. So what it means is if I've got loads of wires, those things I want to join up through wires. If I put them onto here, it just becomes a lot tidier. So when you're doing your work, so you can plug them into this end on the brown cable. You don't even have to start at the top. You can do it anywhere. But you know that once you plug it in on the brown table, the cable at the top, you need to find the brown cable at the top at the other end. And so it's a lot easier just to track what you've got. Okay. I also got these little lights. They're called LEDs. For the people who don't know, they're pretty basic. Uh, I did I did this in like the 90s. And this is what they look like then. In fact, these look even cheaper than that. So, a pretty little LED light, so I can make things light up or not, as my breadboard shows. These are like buttons. If you can hear me click. Ooh. And this kit costs about ten pounds. I don't know what any of these things are. I used to know what some of them are. I think some of these might be transistors or capacitors. Maybe these are capacitors. I guess, I don't know. Someone's gonna go, oh my God, make a comment, you're so stupid about electronics. This is learning. This is what we're doing. So I've got a, ba a bag like this. I think these might be little power buckets, little 
uh, capacitors, but I'm not sure. I need to find out what those are. We've got these, which are crazy cool. They're made of, I think they're made of ceramic. I don't know. They always look like dressmaking bins to me, if you are, uh, to be honest. And then this little board, but I don't know what that does yet. Yeah, so I'm going to find out all about these. So this is like a bit of a basic kit. I, and that's also came with a little breadboard in it. And uh, I think these guys came in that one as well. I think. Maybe that was in the other one. Then, in the other one, the Internet of Things, which is um, kooky. And uh, they do loads of kits. Loads of kits to, like, internet up your house to find stuff out. Little projects. Lots of little project kits. So this is like a starter kit. So if you're going to do a project and have a go, you need to have a look and make sure you've got all the bits. So you can't just make up one name. Today we're going to make a... The bigger thing at the moment is a photo booth. Come on, I can tell online. Today I'm going to make a photo booth because you're going to need a camera. I haven't got the camera yet because that's 20 quid, so it's a bit more of an investment. I can have 20 quid for the camera. You're going to have to have something to make the booth. You have all the bits. So if you're going to do a project with your kids, make sure you're a little bit planned ahead. So personally, I would start with just the Raspberry Pi and a few little bits, and I'll show you what to do. And then... When you go, okay, it'd be really good if we could try this. Excellent, we'll do that next week. You let me get the bits and pieces. So you can't just wake up one day and say, today we're going to measure the weather. Because you, you do need something to make that happen. This kit came with loads of stuff. First of all, really important, well, you can find that now you've got the internet, but is that is how to read your resistors. So resistors slow down electricity uh, so that things don't burn out because if too much power is coming through. So uh, my LED here, my LEDs that aren't powered by anything because it doesn't work, are both protected by tiny little resistors, oh, just there and there, and so that stops the LED burning out. Light emitting diode for the tiny little bulbs. Light emitting diode for LED. Blue ones and blue ones and brown ones, depending on how accurate they are. Um, we'll get to this bag in a minute. It's very exciting. This one comes with more buttons. This is buttons and LEDs, and it says a uh, there's a temperature something in there. A temperature something and is this this is I don't know what that is that came in both sets I'm not sure what that one does uh, let's have a look through the list that one is an analog to digital converter so what that does is it takes I don't know what that does I think what it does is it takes some information and turns it into a different type of information so we will see uh, more ribbon cables females to females this time so there we are two sets of those some individual cables. So this is how I did the little cables on here. Is I used individual cables like this. Uh, they're just tied together. There's just lots of them, little cables. Uh, some sensors, photo sensors. So I can use these. So if I'm going to make myself a photo sensor, say the light comes on when it gets dark, that'll be fun. Um, you put one of these out and it reads how light it is and you tell it when it gets to a certain lightness or darkness, the lights will come on. So we can do that. Uh, and then let's have a look. I've got a list. It comes with a list. I'm not mega smart. It comes with a list. It comes with a servo motor. This is a motor and it makes things go. I don't know what that is. Uh, and then in this bag, this is all bits and pieces. Let's have a look. Oh, actually, this just you know, this big ribbon bit and the header board came in. Now remember, in the Internet of Things here, I think. Yeah. For the GPIO extension board. The IO stands for in and out. GP is probably going to be really obvious. Uh, it's like computer in and out. And basically what it means is how you get information in and out of your computer. Okay, we've got, let's go through the list here. Temperature and humidity sensor mo mo module. So temperature and humidity sensor. So I've got my greenhouse just out there. I could put this in it and it could go beep crazy when it gets too hot. That would be a really good idea. This is a motion sensor. Perfect. Perfect. Stick this outside the computer and sort it. No, that's not cool. Spying wrong. But motion sensor. Do you know I could do that? I'll think of something better to do that one. I haven't opened any of them yet. They're all still brand, brand new. This long complex thing is a PWM driver. I don't know what a PWM is or what it needs driving. Terminal block is reverse, pl I don't know, I won't need a term, reverse polarity. It sounds like something from the Star Trek Enterprise. Fabulous. And we've got a couple of little things in here which make up a digital barometric 
pressure sensor. So that's a barometer. So this tells us um, how damp it is in the air, like the pressure in the air, how much air there is. So like how likely it is to rain. That's pretty cool. And have a look at this one. A relay, a five, a five volt one channel relay module. So that's the contents of the box. We're all kept in here. I don't know if it's like to keep them protected or if it's a static thing. I don't know. So I put them all back just so they put some time. We will need a better storage to at some point. Just for the moment. So this whole thing includes just everything. Uh, comes came to about eighty pounds, just under eighty pounds, um, which is quite an investment. It, it depends. Home educators spend different money on different things, and everyone is their own. If you want to do electronics, what this does is it takes you a little bit away from the screen. Now you're still working on a screen because you have to do programming. So actually, I've been doing a lot of screen time in the past few days, sort of typey typey typey. But um, you're actually working with physical objects as well, and you're actually interacting with the screen in a different way. So it takes you away from just watching videos on YouTube, like this one. Um, not you know, watching this, you've learnt, but hopefully you've been empowered to do yourself something different and a bit more fun. Now, things that didn't come with the box uh, that you need separately are two, three important things: is an HDMI cable to connect the HDMI to, to connect the computer to a screen. Do you remember I said this is your HDMI, so that's where your screen clicks in. Uh, so the HDMI that I use is just our preset box on the back of the TV, so I unplug one and plug the other in. You can use it if, there's, if you've already got like a uh, games console plugged in already. <laughs> Say GameCube, how old am I? <laughs> if you're about to have, if you already have a games console plugged in, if you already have a uh, FreeSat or Free, uh, whatever the other TV one is, or whatever TV you've got coming in, you, you, it needs plugging your screen. It doesn't have to be the TV screen, but for me, that's really convenient. Um, I don't have, uh, I've only got a, a laptop, I don't like a PC, and then I've got tablets, and you can't really use the tablets unless you, what's called, jailbreak them, you don't do that because that messes up your warranty. So um, it needs plugging into a screen. So if you've got a PC, you can just unplug the screen from the back of that and plug it into here and it works fine. If you've also got a PC, then you've also got a mouse. Uh, so you need a mouse and a USB, which looks like that. A mouse and USB, you can also do it on Bluetooth if you need to. Um, my keyboard is an old iPad keyboard. And that does work on Bluetooth. I actually tried plugging it in, it doesn't work being plugged in. Even if you can see, it's got the little socket there. That's actually the power socket, and I tried using the power socket with the USB end of the power cable, but it didn't really recognise it. Uh, it might do it now, because it's been charged, but it didn't recognise it before. Um, so I just Bluetooth it. As you can see, it flashes blue there, and that means it's Bluetooth, because it's blue. Uh, it's not XPS. Right, super. So that's it, Raspberry Pi. Next session, I'm going to show you all about how I made the game called Pong. It was great. I made it on the computer. I'm feeling, well, TV, I'm feeling so proud of myself. So next one is going to be all about that. See you soon. Bye.